A lot of times people ask me, what is the cost per lead if I were to run this ad for my service in my city? And that is a very tricky question and there is no specific answer to it. But a lot of people always ask me this question, so I thought it deserves a video of its own. The cost per lead is something really difficult to predict because it really varies from state to state, from city to city, and from service to service. And what I mean by that, so for example, let's say you're a roofer in Washington. You might run a campaign and your cost per lead could be 50 bucks. And you could be a roofer in Houston, Texas, and your cost per lead might be 200 bucks. And a lot of times what determines the cost per lead is one, the industry and the state and city and how much competition there is. So for example, in Texas, there is a lot of competition which drives the cost per lead up. So when I get on calls with a lot of contractors and business owners, I can only tell them an approximate cost per lead. I can be like, well, I have a client in this city with a similar service and this is their cost per lead. However, I can't really predict what your cost per lead is going to be for your service in your city. And so the only way to determine that is to actually run a campaign and run it for long enough to figure out on average what's your cost per lead. And based on that, you can determine whether you want to scale up your campaign or scale down your campaign. So let's say you decide to run your ads for a month and you get 50 leads at a cost per lead of 40 bucks. So that means you spent $2,000 on the ad campaign for that month. So next month, you understand that your cost per lead is 40 bucks. Do you want to get even more leads? Do you want 100 leads as compared to 50 that you got this month? That means you got to double up your budget and you got to go from 2000 to 4000 So it's really up to you. But the first step is actually running the campaign and determining what that cost per lead is.